There are literally thousands and thousands of golf videos out there to help people fix the slice. But what about those of us who actually hit a hook? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you what causes the hook, but more importantly, how to fix it. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cove, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And we get this comment a lot. There are probably millions of videos about how to fix your slice, but there are some people who actually hit a hook. And we've got to help you too. That's what we do here at US Golf TV. So let's dive right into it. First of all, what actually causes the hook? All right, well, I've got right here today, I've got our vertical line board. We just developed this product. We are super proud of this. And we developed it for people who slice and people who hook, all right? So the first thing you're gonna notice right here, and let's talk about this, because I, I, I wanna show you some stuff here to explain. We've got some red, I've got a red line, I've got some red tees, I've got a gray line, I've got a blue line. Now, when you hook the golf ball, typically what is happening is the club is coming too far from the inside People say you're getting it stuck, you're getting it behind you, okay? You might be bottoming out where you hit a lot of fat shots or behind the golf ball, but the club is too far underneath or behind you, okay? And then we're rotating the face. So we've got a club that's coming very far from the inside combined with a club face that's square to slightly closed. When you get those two things going, you're gonna hook the golf ball. So. That's what, that's what a hook is, but how do we fix it? Well, first of all, let's talk about some different things. So I've got this set up, and one of the ways that we'll fix the hook for my students is we'll just set up the vertical line board, and I'll have them make little swings. So I'm gonna put my feet together, and I'm gonna get the club face nice and square to the gray line right here, okay? It's a perpendicular line to my target, and all I'm gonna do is just make little swings between the tees. Now notice that from the camera behind us, all right? Nick, if you can see that, give me a thumbs up there in the camera. There, okay, Nick's there, he's back on the camera. So you see what direction that club is traveling? It's traveling this way, it's traveling down the red line. This is the opposite of along the blue line. See, I'd hit the T, that's gonna be a hook, okay? Boom, that's a hook. You want the club, if you're fighting the hook, to feel like it's coming across the body. All right, so let's, let me just go ahead and hit a shot once. Put a golf ball in there. Let's just hit a shot. All I'm gonna focus on is trying to visually see the club coming in on the red line and exiting on the red line and going through those tees. Here we go. All right. Okay. All right, didn't hit either one of the tees. That ball faded. Yeah, it did. Nick's nodding, it faded. He's, he's, Nick is an honest guy, he wouldn't lie. That ball definitely faded. So that's tip number one, is understanding that in order to fix the hook, you gotta fix the direction, what we call the path, all right? So what are some ways that we can fix that? Well, one of the ways is through aim, okay? So I've got the alignment bar set up here, and I've got it actually set up slightly open to the target line. You can see how it's aimed to the left of the gray line, which is my target line, okay? So by taking my feet and moving them from a square position, which is what traditional coaching would teach you, and that's one of the main reasons why the team and I wrote the book, The Bad Lie. Okay, it's not that traditional coaching is bad, but it's, is it really tailored or made towards you? And that's one of the things we love doing here at US Golf TV, is tailoring the information to our golfers, our experienced golfers, our people who really are relying on moving and swinging the golf club like they can do. All right, so I've got the alignment bar right here slightly to the left of my target, and when my feet are slightly open, that's gonna promote more of a swing that moves across my body this way. So let me go ahead and put another ball in there. Okay, and this time I'm gonna focus on the feet. So I got my feet slightly open, see that? Combined with the visualization of the club coming in along that red line. Here we go, feet open along the alignment bar, club along the red line, out to in, or feels out to in. Oh, I love that. That's what we call that little butter cut right there. Nice little fade. Now, let's talk about the third thing that's important, and that has to do with the club face, right? Remember our first part of the conversation, if you're hooking the golf ball, club's traveling to the inside, club face is squared or slightly closed. We've addressed the direction of the club traveling, swing path, swing direction, right, through the visualization of along the red line and the feet. Talk about club face. So, what I want you to do, okay, and this is why we put the gray line on there, that's the square line. So what I'm gonna feel is my club face is actually slightly open 
to the gray line. So it's actually slightly open to my target line. All right, so I've got a slightly open club face. All right, I've got a slightly open stance, and I'm gonna feel like I'm swinging the club along the red line. Let's go ahead and hit one more here. Feet open, club face slightly open. Let's get the club tracking through the tees. Oh yeah, best one yet. Solid, high, no hook in that bad boy right there. So you might feel like you're an oddity. You might feel like you're a unicorn because you hooked the golf ball, but after today's lesson, you're not gonna be in that group anymore. You're gonna hit the nice high fade.